this is my original vacuum fixture that I had converted to use the vacuum pump on with this plate here uh, to put the hose fitting in but recently I bought a vacuum gauge and filter to put on the vacuum pump and I found out that with the original vacuum fixture I wasn't I wasn't getting enough pulling enough vacuum probably less than half of what it should have been probably about 10 so it was suggested that I use either a piece of uh, MDF and seal it real good or a piece of UHMW so I ordered a piece of UHMW one inch thick 12 by 12 so in the process of waiting for that to come in I decided to try a piece of three-quarter MDF so that's what you see mounted to the top of the original fixture now and I've got a fitting here and a fitting on the other side with two suction ports with a gasket around each uh, in preparation to hold down the UHMW uh, to do the work on that. Now the UHMW has come in and it's a little undersized. It's 11 and 3 quarter by well, actually 11 and almost 13 sixteenths by 11 and, and almost 13 sixteenths. So the first thing I'm going to do is machine the edges this thing is really good and square, but it has saw marks on the edge, which really don't hurt anything. But I'm going to machine the edges down and try to get it to 11 and 3 quarters by 11 and 3 quarters by just taking very little off each side with a rough pass and a finish pass. So I'm going to mount it on the MDF fixture now and uh, get the bit lined up to get it good and square on one side here and then we'll uh, start cutting. Well, using the CNC on the uh, edges there didn't work out too good. I don't know what happened. Uh, for one, I think uh, I was off a little bit on the setting and it was cutting a little too deep. Uh, so rather than try to screw around getting that perfect, I decided to just uh, joint the edges on the uh, joiner. And the uh, joiner cleaned it up pretty good. I doubt if you can see that very well. Probably can't see that, but they're pretty smooth. What I really wanted to do was surface the top of it also, because it has these uh, kind of deep swirls here from the machining uh, wherever it was made at, and so it's not real, real smooth. Uh, which will probably be all right for the top of the vacuum fixture because we'll have a seal around all the plates that go on there anyway. So I'm a little undecided as to whether to even try that or not. I bought a little small fly cutter. I think it's a three quarter inch diameter to try in the CNC router. But I don't know whether to try it or not.
Let me explain what I'm getting ready to do next. I've got the UHMW vacuum fixture on top of the temporary one shimmed up with a piece of half inch uh, MDF with holes that line up with the MDF vacuum uh, to transfer to suck the UHMW down to hold it temporarily what I'm going to do is mill some grooves in the side of the UHMW similar to this with this three wing uh, router bit so that I can use these clamps like I use here to hold the uh, UHMW fixture directly to the bed of the router uh, so I won't have to set it up on this box that way I can clamp it right to the bed uh, I've got a hole drilled where the center of my uh, suction is going to be uh, just about 3 8 down just to get a z center zero hole to start with to reference everything off of and I've got just a piece of quarter inch uh, uh, rod in the router just to locate center and then we'll put the three wing cutter in turn the vacuum on and cut these slots I've already got the program uh, cam program done for cutting these slots all the way around on all four sides Okay, we've got zero zero right there now. We'll set that for set the X and Y to zero right there. Well, we're ready to start cutting. I've got the uh, fit changed to the router bit, wing router bit for cutting the slot. And I've got Z0, uh, the top edge of the cutter to this mark right here. So that when it goes to Z0, it'll be at the right height to cut in. And so we're uh, ready. We've got the vacuum on and ready to give it a shot. Taking multiple passes, about a sixteenth deep each time, going about uh, five sixteenths deep. Well, I had a little goof up. I noticed that the uh, on the last uh, two strokes, well, my, actually the last stroke, I noticed that uh, the part moved a little bit. And uh, the next to the last stroke, and on the last stroke, I heard a little bit different noise. And what had happened was the collar on the router, the nut, was rubbing into the side of the UHMW here and that's because I had the cutter chucked up too far into the nut so the nut was down below the surface of the UHMW so what I'm going to do is start over and uh, rechuck the router bit into the router and make sure I stay uh, 
that much clearance the nut up here so that the nut will not touch the surface when it goes in the full depth so we'll have to uh, put the router bit back in and uh, re-zero everything, reline everything up and start over okay we've got everything straightened out, lined back up and you're ready to start cutting the second groove now Worked out better than I expected. This could be all right. 